Hello and welcome to my new video. Sometimes it happens that I really hardly remember where and how I take the picture. And today I have a really interesting negative and I was quite curious to see it on my scans. So let's clean up the carrier and quickly load it and align it in the middle of the frame. As you probably remember, this is my favorite film, got a Gold 200, pushed one stop and normally developed in my Yobo CPE2 system. And at first step, I make crop a little bit higher, so the picture a little bit smaller than I will brand to just make a better calibration with the color. After I focus up on the grain, after this step I continue with my color analyzer, mostly to find out not the color balance, but mostly find out the exposure value. So I stop down aperture, close down the filters, and find the settings on my photo head. All initial settings I put in my lab book, and I try to keep it more or less consistent with the values and more or less consistent with my process. And for film developments and for prints, I'm using exactly the same tank, so I can develop everything in the lights, conditions, and I don't need a darkroom for development of paper or the film. Standard array 4 process is 35 degrees of solution and 45 seconds of color developer, 15 seconds of stop depth and 45 seconds of bleach fix and washing inside the drum. After chemicals is preheated, I directly pour chemicals in a cup inside the tank. And when I flip it horizontally, I start development and put the chemicals back after one cycle of 45 seconds. Put the next chemical, rotate a little bit more, pour it back. And after a few minutes of development, you just need to wash it up and you do it in the same horizontal position as you make all the developments. So after washing, you pour down the water and you can open the drum. Because I'm more or less confident with my development of the film, I'm almost certain my first test print will be close enough to what I want to see in the final print. And as you can see, it's not really easy to judge if you just crop down and make a small strip. So this is why I take the longer one and make it all color decisions from there. My settings for this particular print is 60-60, f11 and 6 seconds of exposure. Because I really like the result from the test print, I just continue with exactly the same settings and getting my final print. If I want to keep it a little bit faster, I dry it with a hair dryer, and this is my final print. I really like the composition and result on this print. It's a huge amount of information in the shadows and a lot of information in the highlights, and I just really like the composition and how the colors render in this particular picture. As always, you can find all my prints on my website, and that's it for today, and thank you for watching.